and we're live. Ooh, excuse me. Hi, everyone. So this is the Inform Forum. Thank you for watching, and I am with. I'll let her introduce herself. I know her first name is Shauna. Yes, Shauna McNally. I'm a candidate for Michigan House of Representatives, District 55. Um, it's around the Ann Arbor area, which I know a lot of people have heard of Ann Arbor, U of M, but it's uh, the greater area. It's uh, a good chunk of Ann Arbor and then the surrounding townships. And um, a lot of it is actually uh, quite rural. So it's, it's a very, it's really like four separate districts. So we've got like the city and the, and the university, and then we've got, you know, the, the farmers and the small town people mm -hmm. in another part of the district. Um, so I am running for that seat because it's where I grew up. It's where I went to school. Um, it's where I graduated. Uh, and even when I did spend some time living in Ann Arbor, uh, when I was at U of M, I had, um, I already had two small children and we lived, um, in this section of Ann Arbor. So it was like a really familiar district and a district that I felt that I could actually, uh, represent very well. Okay. That's awesome. Good for you and for like stepping up and doing that. Um, After, um, well, cause I got involved I think as a whole lot of us did. I graduated, um, I actually finished medical school in 2016. And instead of doing the normal thing, which is residency and like, you know, going mm -hmm. on and getting a job, I went straight into politics. Um, I worked on the Bernie Sanders campaign. Um, when he didn't get the primary, I ran my own campaign and I was elected as the local uh, park commissioner. It was actually ran as third party for that one. And I got the biggest third party win in Michigan. And oh, wow served there for uh, a year as the vice chair and then looking at the political landscape for what was going on going on in 2018 this looked like the district for all the reasons I just said like it's it's my it's my that's my home so cool so so you have a real experience then that's that's awesome now I feel like a lot of people might not know but what does a park commissioner do Oh, I know people don't know. <laughs> um, because when I was campaigning for park commission, what I got, like, we didn't have the data or, or really much of anything. We had, you know, our, our very basic materials and myself and my, my son and like his friends went and knocked on, um, about 5,000 doors. Um, and when we knocked on those doors, we heard everybody's like really personal stories and the things that they needed and the things that they were lacking and what they wanted government to do. And, hmm. I was running for park commission, which meant I could do absolutely nothing for them except try to um, keep their parks nice and open new parks. Okay. I will say the one thing I was able to do um, was pass a resolution um, within my jurisdiction to pass a resolution so that a pipeline could not be built through our, our parks under the, the Huron River watershed that drains straight into Lake Erie. So oh, that's awesome. That was like a really, it actually took a lot, took a lot of work. Um, okay. But yeah, no, I, mostly in the park commission, it's more of a, an advisory board, um, which is why I didn't really want to stay there. I don't think that I needed to be there for four years while there's so many other changes that need to be made. And we need um, people with real, with real passion and real life experiences actually making them happen. Oh, cool. that's awesome. It's awesome that you like put all that effort into doing that for your community, because I feel like that will come through, in, that should come through in, in your race for the House of Representatives. I think that um, that's sort of what we are, because I'm running against a 12-year. Um, yeah, term I was going to ask that. Yeah, we have we have term limits in Michigan. Um, so she, my opponent had two terms in the House, has now completed two terms in the Senate, and in theory. Um, she has two more years left that she can be in the house. So she moved into the district um, to run just for her two more years there. And um, people don't- What is her name? Uh, Rebecca Warren. People Any relation? No, just- Okay. No. Okay. <laughs> She's very well connected into the, some of the political scenes here. But okay. um, that means that the 75% of the district that is not well connected or I'd probably put even closer to 90 that is not well connected uh, gets left out and yeah. that's um, where I'm from and that's who I'm here to represent and that's like that's the entire movement that we've been building um, I'm definitely from the wrong side of the tracks 
And, <laughs> but you know, you've been a community member your whole life. My kids go to school in the district. My mom mm -hmm. was a teacher there, you know, like this is, this is where we're from. And, and I, I, I really do feel like the 55th district because it has um, a little bit of Ann Arbor. We, we always tend to get these people that are just very well connected Ann Arbor politicians and we don't get people representing the district that think about all the rest of us. So, yeah. That's kind of cool. Cause I feel like, I mean, kind of like you said, like when people think of Michigan, I, 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 well, I know two cities in Michigan, to be completely honest. I know Flint and I, I know Ann Arbor. Yeah. <laughs> and then the great lakes are there somewhere. Yeah. But, um, I, I kind of like what, what I'm hearing anyway, because I feel like that's the whole reason in some way. Right? That's the whole reason? Is that the word I'm looking for? That's the whole reason that Trump basically won in 2020. Yes. Oh, and, wow. Yeah. Like, and that's why Bernie won. Yeah. That's why Bernie won. And I mean, yeah. we, were, we were right there on the doors for that whole thing. Mm -hmm. And because, I mean... Yeah, everybody wanted to act so surprised, but boy, I'd been knocking on doors for nine months. I wasn't surprised. People were fed oh. up. I mean, yeah. it's, come on. It's, you're talking about Michigan. You're talking about NAFTA. I was driving around getting my election results the first, you know, trying to figure out if I won or not. Mm -hmm. Driving past, like, abandoned factories and just broken down. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, there's a reason that people were not fans of Clinton. And um, yeah. I get it. But it also means that we have to understand that and we have to build it into something better. So mm -hmm. we're looking at um, not just policy wise, not just as a representative, but looking at community based projects that we can do. So we've been working with a group in Detroit called Church of the Messiah. For lack of a better word, it's a run as a commune. I, I know that's not the, the term that they use, but they grow their own food, they manage their own property, mm -hmm. they run their own small businesses out of the place. All, all profits, it's all um, affordable housing, everything comes back in, provide free internet, provide, you know, they're doing solar projects, you know, just oh, cool. taking neighborhoods that have been left behind and not waiting for anybody else anymore and, and creating that movement. So yes, yes, we have to get good people into office to make those changes more systemic, but we're also not just thinking about this as just me in office or just you know, any other politician in office. We're looking at how can we organize our community because it's part of Ann Arbor and Ypsilanti is the town um, that a lot of us are from in that greater area. There's a lot of poverty. There's a lot mm -hmm. of violence. Um, and if you get into the rural areas, it's just as bad. You know, it's more spread out, but mm -hmm. the need is still there. So how do, we, how do we organize those communities that no one's, no one's cared about for so long? Right. And that's what a big part of... Um, building this campaign has been about not just how do we get our win number and how do we get our votes but how do we build a community so in a sense it sounds like you're for like a new new deal i would yeah like, <laughs> whatever we want to call like speaking like platitudes that people like understand yeah yes but. i'm definitely not for the whatever that thing is they put out that better deal i'm not for that we need a new new deal we need a green new deal yeah uh, we need environmental protections we need we need human rights protections Mm -hmm. um, we need our basic standard of living uh, taken care of, you know, I, and, and I've been that person. I don't want to just, I don't want this to come off um, wrong when I say like, we need to be take like, we need help because I had yeah. kids very young. I've uh, raised my kids as I went to school. Um, I'm still a single mom. I'm still dealing with all these systemic issues mm -hmm. trying to, you know, we'll get, yeah, we had ACA expansion, but then, right. Like, your Medicaid is, first off, they didn't expand it in half the states. And then second off, yeah. like, you go into the doctor and you find out, wait, your Medicaid's canceled. Why? <laughs> what happened? Oh, the state yeah. lost the paper. You have to spend six weeks finding the documentation that you turned that paper in and then they have to put it back to the state and then they reinstate your health. No, it's a, it's a horrible yeah. mess. And I know the problems. Like, I'm not just thinking about this, like, numbers and budget crunching. I know that it's humans because it's been my life, too. And so everybody out there that hasn't had a voice, um, I hope that I can be that for them. I hope that, that they know when they see me, I will be the one to fight for them and advocate for them to the very end. That's awesome. So I want to ask what your computer is at, just, just so we're not like 
running past like oh no we're good it, it we're good yeah. okay um yeah just keep tabs on that yes <laughs> i'll let you know um, if i guess well okay so i feel like the mainstream media and even corporate not god wow mainstream media and like uh independent media that more or less we all watch like secular talk the humanist report the rational national the michael brooks show um tyt and whatnot they've all been spending a lot of time talking about alexandra ocasio cortez Mm -hmm. which let me just say that her win was incredible yeah um how so how is that mobilizing your campaign in your area like have you seen an influx of people since last week well um i i don't know if it was the day before the day after the same day of um ocasio cortez's win i found out i also got the full dsa endorsement that's awesome. Um, yeah. <laughs> and that is not, and in just, that's not just in name only. Like, they bring, like, teeth to the fight. Like, they're there. They literally do. They went out a couple days later um, in blistering uh, heat because yeah. it was, it was like, over, it, the heat index was, like, over 100 degrees or something. And they sent out a team to start canvassing and start knocking. Um, mm-hmm. So that was amazing. And it wasn't. I know, I mean, I've been watching DSA and I've been watching the candidates that they've run and I know they've been amazingly successful, but it seemed like for some reason, everyone has just heard about it with Ocasio-Cortez, which not, you know, me and you and our people who watch your show didn't just hear about it, but like the wider audience heard about it. And so that brings that buzz of like, it it was just so um, rejuvenating, I want to say, because starting to feel beat down man like there have been some good people that that lost yeah and, and to I, see that happen for her was like okay we are still in this fight we are mm-hmm. you know yeah and it, it, it was a huge it still is mm-hmm. huge huge win and really it's kind of what rejuvenated even myself yeah um because like you said there have been a lot of losses and it's been hard to Paula Jean killed me. Paula Jean Swearingen. My family's all from West Virginia. I was oh yeah. Oh, I was so excited for her. I I think though she's tough enough, and I think you know house elections are in two years. So yeah, I mean, I think she'll oh, run again. To be honest, <laughs> but I mean, I think kind of the thing is to get boots on the ground get people Mm -hmm. calling like even if if you're watching this like once it's uploaded but if you're watching this like feel free to phone bank for shauna i will say we have um a remote phone bank we can send it out to anybody Mm so um and i'll just give you my little data like rundown information so that people can contact me if they want to help um my email is vote McNally, so V O T E M C N A L L Y one two three at gmail.com. Email me, we can send out the link. My website is vote McNally, so same thing, V O T E M C N A L L Y dot com. Um, you can sign up on there for maybe you, you don't want to phone back, that's fine too. You can you can sign up for other work, um, especially if you're in Michigan and you want to come knock some doors. We love that. Um, and you can donate. Because I will say that that is where we're at right now. We have formed amazing progressive alliances around the state. Um, We still have some more big endorsements with volunteers coming in. We need money to put literature in their hands, to get t-shirts, to get yard signs, the biggest Mm -hmm. things out there so everybody can see. Um, So I would say if you can do nothing else, if if you don't have even five minutes to phone bank, go to votemcnally.com, donate. $5 $5 gets us a whole lot. You, people don't understand what that $5 means on, on our end, what we can do. Um, so yeah, please, 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 please do anything that you can. Either phone, phone bank, volunteer, or donate, donate, donate. We need it. We have the momentum as far as the people go. Um, 
I don't want to let that die just because we couldn't get yard sites right. printed out or something. You know, right. <laughs> what a waste. <laughs> what a waste. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Money's important. And given that you're running against someone who's been in office, you said 12, 12, 12. Yeah, well, she has, a, she has, you know, she has a large coffer and she has large yeah. uh, benefactors. And I, and I, I do want to say though, I think especially in a race like this, money is extra hard because if you're in a small race, you can usually, you can just self fund. It's not that expensive. And if you're in right. a bigger race, you get a much larger reach of people who are willing to donate. I mean, yeah. you're in this little micro race, you know, where your whole district is, you know, you have 50,000 registered voters or something. Right. Um, you don't have that poll. You don't have that poll to get, you know, people in California interested, <laughs> you know, New York. Um, right. And there, right now we have a super progressive governor's candidate um, and I'm all behind him and, and I wish him the best, but so eyes are there, you know? And so when you're running these smaller races, it can be really difficult to get just some focus on what you're trying to do. Um, and we can't forget those races because if we end up with like the most progressive governor ever in mm -hmm. the whole country, and he doesn't have a legislature or a Senate to, to work with. Then what no. kind of. <laughs> no, we don't want that for him. We want yeah. to win too. So that, so that yeah. he can do his job. Right. And that's all the more reason it is important to donate what you can and to help however you can. Yep. Uh, we appreciate all of it. And frankly. I'm here with my volunteers right now. <laughs> <laughs> Say hi, volunteers. <laughs> hi, volunteers. I hope you are volunteering well. That was an they awkward are. phrase. They are doing their best. So <laughs> we're out. We're out. We're, we're parading two parades tomorrow, back to back. Uh, door knocking awesome. coming up. More phone banking. It's it's on, man. We're 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 gonna do it. Cool. Yeah. And tomorrow is the. 4th of July. Yeah. Not that I feel that enthusiastic about no, it, to be honest. No, I understand. I'm not feeling super patriotic right now, but, but. I don't know. We got to get out there and, and represent represent the, the real people, you know? Yeah, and I think that, to be honest, is the most patriotic thing you could do. There you go. Because, I mean, I'm just thinking about a little bit of the history of America and the only thing that really has been patriotic is to go against the grain. Mm -hmm. To fight for the people. Yeah. To fight for something better. Yeah. And that's what you're doing, which is awesome. And I guess super props and thanks for joining. Thank you so much for having me. You timed um, it perfectly. I was about to say my battery looks like it's about to crash. <laughs> well, cool. Very I'm good so job. I'm happy I did that correctly. <laughs> awesome. It was really nice to talk to you uh, face yeah. to face because I've definitely seen millions of your posts and I've co corresponded. So it was really good to, to meet you. Cool. Yeah. Awesome to meet you too. And I'll Thanks see you well. on the interwebs. And this has All been right. an inform form, you guys. Spread the word. And do you, you don't. It's okay. To, you can post all my info with the video and everything. Cool. Email. Uh, will. Thank you. All right. Awesome. All right. Bye -bye. So charge that uh, computer. <laughs> all, right. Bye -bye. all right. Bye, guys.